Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williamson with Pippin's Pages and Pippin'sPlugins.com and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to add additional fields to Restrict Content Pro, to the registration uh, page for Restrict Content Pro. Um, so the example that I'm going to use in this, in this tutorial is how to add a agree to our terms of use. Um, basically a checkbox similar to the auto renew option that you see here except it's going to be a required checkbox um, and it's going to be for terms of use. So in requiring that people agree to uh, your terms for your website before they can register for the account. If they don't agree for it, then they will not be able to register. Um, so it's actually really simple. Restrict Content Pro has an API built in that allows you to do this very easily. And so I'm going to show you how. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, you can put this in your functions.php in a custom functions.php uh, plugin file or wherever you want. Um, but the idea of this is to be able to add this custom form, the, cust the field to the form, excuse me, without having to modify the actual plugin. Um, and that's what Research Content Al Pro allows you to do, is you can actually add these form fields without modifying any of the core plugin code. Uh, so it's really simple actually. It's going to require two functions and two functions only. So the very first one um, is going to be the function that is going to output the field itself to the registration form. So we're going to write a function here called uh, terms of use field. And now inside of this function, we're simply going to output the HTML for this field. Um, the HTML for this is very simple. It's, it's nothing more than a simple, um, just a checkbox. Um, and I've just set it up in an output buffer just to make things nice and simple um, and make it really clean. So we're going to put in a checkbox field. So we're going to give it input name equals RCP. That's just my prefix. It could actually be anything you want. Terms agreement. We're going to give it the same ID. The ID is not required, but it's recommended that each field have a unique ID. We're going to give it a class of required, and this class, given it required, makes it so that the jQuery validation plugin, which is bundled with Restrict Content Pro, will automatically detect this as a required field if you have the jQuery validation enabled. So if you don't, if you have this class added, the required class, and the user does not check the box, the jQuery validation will automatically say, hey, this field is required. Type equals checkbox, just like that. And now we're going to give it a label for, and for is going to be, it's the ID of our field. And then simply we're going to enter in our text, agree to our terms of use. Just like that. Okay. Um, and now if you wanted to be even better, you would actually go ahead, if you were doing this as a plugin or at, for someone else's site or something like that, you would probably go ahead and localize this as well, just like this. And then this would be your prefix, which for Research Content Pro is RCP. Um, so there, there's your field, and that's all that you have to do for the form field. Um, and now all we do is we attach it to what's called an action hook, and the name of this hook is RCP after register form fields. And this hook is basically means that we're going to output all of this at the bottom of the registration form, but before the submit. So bef after the fields, before the submit. And now we're going to simply copy the name of our function and path, put it right there. So there we go. Um, now if we go ahead and go look at our registration page, we'll see our field there. So here's the registration page, and if we refresh, there's our field right there. Um, if we go ahead and inspect the element so that we can look at the source code for it, you'll see here's all of the the HTML that we just typed up here. Um, so there's our field um, and notice that it matches all the styling of all the rest of the fields perfectly. So now what we need to do is we actually need to process this field. So right now if we click register and note that it's not checked, notice that you don't see an error that says please agree to our terms of use. Well to add that we simply need one more function. We type function and the name of it is going to be check for agreement. So it's just pretty simple. 
and we're going to give it one variable called posted and this variable is going to contain all of the post data um, if you're not familiar with post data basically this is all of the information that is sent by the server from the form um, so now we can do this so if not is set so basically that means if this was not if the box was not checked posted then it's going to be the name of the input field so our name is this right here so we do if not is set posted RCP terms agreement the field was not checked okay now what we want to do is we want to actually register an error with Restricted Content Pro in the case that this field is not checked. To do that, we have a function included with Restricted Content Pro called RCP RCP underscore errors, just like that. And we can do add. Then we can give our error code a unique um, code. And this code could really be anything you want, but use something that makes sense. And then the second parameter, which I've just localized, is the message that you want to be displayed, the error message. So you must agree to our terms of use. So now what's going to happen here is if this field, the input field, isn't checked, it's going to record this error that says you must agree to the terms of use. And that error, recording this error, will actually trigger the check in Restricted Content Pro to prevent registration unless this box is checked. So now all we have to do is add in another action hook. And this case is called RCP form underscore errors. And this is basically a hook that fires when Restricted Content Pro does all of the error checking. The second parameter oops, is the name of our error checking function, just like that. And there we go. We're done. So let's go take a look. Uh, so let's reload this page. So we have our form. We can fill out the details. And now if we click register without checking the box, you'll see it says you must agree to our terms of use. Now if we check the box, that error goes away. So there we go. That's all there is to it to adding a custom field to Restrict Content Pro. Um, in this case, we're doing adding a terms of use, which is very, very useful and important to a lot of sites, um, but not necessarily for all sites. Now, let's say we want to take this just a little bit further, and let's go ahead and add in the text for our terms of use. Well, let's just add it in here, um, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to grab some default uh, text. Let's just pretend that this is our terms of use right here. now we can see our terms of use right here now obviously you're gonna style this differently um, I mean one thing that you might do is you might uh, put in a header just like that so now you have the header right there um, another thing that might be a great idea is put this in a modal window so have a link right here that says agree to our terms of use and then our terms is a link that actually pops up and displays the terms of use as a modal or it could be a separate page it could be whatever you want but you need to have some way to actually view the terms of use um, and if you wanted to get really technical you could actually make it so that they have to click the terms of use page and actually view that before you can actually even check this agree to our terms because you can make this a disabled field so anyway that's a quick introduction to how you can add a custom field to Restrict Content Pro. You can use this method to add as many fields as you want. Um, as a quick example, we could do this. We can add a separate field. And just to make this simple, I'm just going to put in a number two right here. So this is our second uh, agree to terms. Um, and then we can actually add it in right down here. So you don't need a function for every single field. You only need one function for all the fields you want to add. So now, if we take a look at this, we actually have two fields. And notice that now there are two errors for each field. If we check one, one error goes away. And if we check the other, if we check both, both errors go away, just like that. So you can add as many fields as you want, and you can do very simple checks. Um, you could also go a little bit further like this. 
you could actually combine them to you could just say so if not is set and or let's do actually do this to or we're going to add this error oops except this should be underscore two so now if I check one it shows the error if I check the other it shows the same error if however I check both it works so there you have it um, adding fields to restrict content pro is very easy it's quite simple um, there is an example of this inside of the documentation if you go over here to restrict and help and now over here on the right click action reference and now down here here's a sample function group that will show you how to add this and it will show everything for you um, it's got the HTML function and it's got the the validation function as well so anyway that's how you add fields to restrict content pro uh, there are also a variety of other form hooks that you can use up here you can see this big list right here uh, that you can actually add to additional fields as well or uh, to different pages or different locations anyway that's restricted content pro that's adding fields to it i hope you enjoyed it